Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2021 Hyundai Elantra. And this is rocking the 8-speaker Bose audio system. We're going to take a listen to some sample tracks, look at how the infotainment system works, all the audio inputs, speaker locations, get out on the road, listen to those sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Before we get started, hop out, take a quick look at the car. Now the Elantra is all refreshed for 2021, and this particular model is actually the hybrid model, which is new for 2021 as well. But it does feature the same eight speaker Bose audio system as the standard gasoline car. So check the link in the description if you wanna see the full review on this one or the gas car. And we always do these tests with uncompressed lossless WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system experience on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. In the Elantra, you have your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance, and in sound tuning, you get treble, mid-range, and bass. Let's go through those now. Speaker locations, as I said earlier, you do have eight. So we're looking at one, two, three, four up there, it looks like, actually. I see two little speaker cutouts, five, six. Although I think they only count that as one. Even though there's two cutouts, that's only being counted as one because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you actually have eight, a subwoofer in the rear deck. Audio inputs here in the Elantra. You've got your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, USB-A with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. You also don't have any sort of disc player. Not the end of the world, but it still would be nice to see. For audio controls, you've got this center symmetrically mounted Nice volume knob, easy to turn, feels good, looks fine. You also have volume rocker on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, you've got track buttons right here. You can also use the touch screen when you are in media mode. And you've got track up and down on the steering wheel as well. All right, let's get out on the road.
next song really tests the limits of an audio system, so let's see how the Bose 8 speaker and the Elantra handles it. made a smart move going with Bose for a car like this because Bose systems typically always range in between kind of a 6 out of 10 to 8 out of 10. It's rare for a Bose system to sound much worse than that. It's also hard for it to get any better. And I would place this, subjectively speaking, disregarding cost, at about a 7, maybe 7.5 in terms of audio quality. And objectively speaking, considering that this is a hybrid vehicle, it's focused on fuel economy, it's also less expensive, it's not a very large car, it's getting like an eight and a half to a nine in my book. The infotainment system works really well. It's got good inputs, audio, or Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. The sounds are solid. I'm pretty impressed. The biggest letdown of the system actually comes to the location of the touchscreen and controls. It's too far away. When you're driving here, you really have to reach out, get uncomfortable, and press what you're doing, and then come back to your seat. It's a little cumbersome in that way. I wish Hyundai would have anchored everything a little closer to the driver. But anyway, thank you so much for checking out the system. Hope you got a good impression for it. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Check out our other Hyundai Elantra content, as well as all of our sound test system reviews. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.